but we're going to find out now because I'm really, really psyched. This is great. I've been injured for a fair while now. Ring finger flexor tendon. And I've never injured myself crimping or half crimping. Only ever open hand. Only ever pockets. I think it was a three finger drag. Easy hold. Boop. Flexor tendon went. That was two months ago. Two weeks after that, I gave her a good rest. And I thought, oh, it wasn't that strange because it felt really, really good. Three finger pocket this time. Boop. Went again. So I've given it a good, let's say, yeah, a month and a half rest. So today's the day I'm going to actually give it a try and see how it goes. Just really easy stuff, nothing too crazy. In addition to going for a little bit of a climb today to try it, oh my god, it's so bright. The other thing that I want to try out is what can I do to record myself in a climbing centre? Because the camera I'm using at the moment is omnidirectional mics, which picks up everything around it. It's got a directional feature that I haven't tried out, but the other thing it also has is a little wireless mic thing that I can just clip onto myself. And I have no idea how much this will pick up from the surroundings around me, or it only picks me up. So that's the other plan for today. Oh my god, it's so bright! I'm going to try this out. Like I said, there's also a directional feature on the camera that I'm using at the moment, and I've not really tried either. If I go climbing, and you don't hear any audio because I've turned it off, then neither has worked. Okay, so it looks like I've picked a day when there's a lot of route setting going on. There's not necessarily going to be a lot of climbing. However, it's still a good chance for me to try out this cam mic thing. This is the test of the directional mic on this camera. And, and this is with the clip-on mic. There's a noise going on in the background, music going on above me. Although well, it's not too loud today, so it's probably not the best measure. But it's also always a good idea to try it out. I don't know. I don't know. I should have planned the script beforehand. I was about to disappear, but then I just realised this is the perfect moment. Right there, we've got up here, we've got speaker blaring. Over there, we've got the extractor van, and that's always been wobbly as heck. So this is the directional mic, we're going to test this one out. And here's the same thing with the wireless mic. And it's really, really noisy down here. I don't know if the mics are picking this up, probably, which is going to be a shame, but we'll find out shortly. We absolutely definitely have a winner. The directional mic of this seems to cut out everything. So I'm now sitting under a speaker, directly under a speaker, and well, it might be pointing directly at the mic as well because it's behind my head but we're going to find out now because I'm really really psyched this is great that is finally my well one of the concerns that I've got sorted out recently all I've really been able to do is fingerboarding because as long as I'm in a half crimped or crimped position everything's all fine all the all the loads on the pulleys and not the flexor tendon I want to do some fingerboarding first and then after that, I've got a whole load of trying out super easy climbs to go. I'm just going to stay in the safe zone of the downstairs at the moment. And like I said, it's going to be easy to climb today. So we take a look at the board. We'll probably stick to font fours, maybe some of the five pluses. So pinks and oranges today. That be the pa that is entirely the plan today. <laughs> Do you want to be in it? Hello. <laughs>
Okay, there's going to be a change in plan. I feel actually really, really good about these oranges. So, I think the next stage up is going up another grade of climbs. And in this case, it looks like that's going to be sixes. So everything from 6A to 6C plus, I guess. Probably not going to be as successful, but we'll give it a shot, right? This red one is definitely the coolest one so far. That cartwheel move up to this thing is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, every part of it was brilliant. That was amazing. What a route. So about switching my grip on this hold. You start on this side, and then put your left foot on this thing, rock over to reach this one. I thought once I'm holding this thing, again it's not great, but you'll sort of lay backing on the thing, and then just really dramatic flag underneath. And then once your foot's sort of around there, I was gonna, I'm been trying to switch my grip from here, from a lay back in this direction, there, that direction and then I want to change it so that I'm palming off this side instead so I can push my set push myself a little bit more in the left side so when I go for this hold I don't do so much of a horizontal movement but more of a vertical move and catch it but nope didn't work I really want to reach around far enough on this sloper. So instead of just holding it like that, once I actually get far enough, I want to try and end up ducking the thing so that I'm more in line with that thing. Oh. I'm not sure it's doable. So this red one behind me has definitely beaten me today. I don't need to feel off just yet, but pretty soon. Um, yeah, so even though it might be in the sixes, at least it seems like I found myself a project. And I'm gonna go do a bit of shopping. I need to get some some things, some sweets, and then get myself ready for work. The most important thing of all of this 
is the fact that my ring finger feels awesome. No pain, no strain, no anything. I know it's not going to be completely fully healed yet, but it definitely feels good enough to do some relatively easy climbing. If I do a little bit of climbing every single day, I think it'll be alright. <laughs>